Sup dogs, and welcome to the 2022 Office Tour. So I did one last year, and I thought it'd be pretty cool to just do one every year and see what changes. Not a lot has changed, but there are some things I've added that I think really helps with the whole creator space that I do. Anyway, Alexa, set the hills to daylight. That should be better for you guys. Now, before I jump into this, in here, I actually want to start the tour out here. And as you can see behind me, there's a really good reason why. And there's also another good reason on this side. <laughs> So I actually got these two pieces of art from PAX East last year. Um, this one was more money than I was, <laughs> I'm proud to say, for how much it costs. This one on the other hand I thought was more reasonably priced. But uh, the cool thing about this one is, first of all, it's, as you can tell, Pokemon. And then it's also Kitchen Impact. So it's like two of the things that I think is really, really cool. And not only that, as a third added really, really cool thing, it's spoopy theme or a ghost type theme. So that's that's like the cherry on top, honestly. Actually, no, the cherry on top is this ghastly. As you can tell, he's a shiny. And what was really cool about it is that when you bought this print, you had to spin a wheel. And if it lands on the shiny, then you can get the shiny version. If you don't, then too bad. And your boy got it. Your boy wrote it, he got it. This one on the other hand is, as you can obviously tell, Majora's Mask. And it's a 3D painting, or shadow box rather. I purposely aimed it higher than me, or the average height, so that you can also look up and just stare at the doomed moon as it comes crashing down on you. So. Yeah. All right, moving into the main components. I think we gotta start with, of course, the computer. PC is still the same thing. Nothing has changed from the internals. It's got the Ryzen 7 5800X in the 2080 Ti. I think the only difference that you can see in here is the little OD figurine. It has moved from my window to the top of the <laughs> graphics card. He's just chilling in an infinite warm heat. Moving on to the monitors, we've got here <clears throat> LG 27GL850-B 27-inch Ultra Gear QHD Nano IPS 1 millisecond NVIDIA G-Sync compatible gaming monitor. <clears throat> As I recalled from the back of my memory banks. <laughs> Same monitor since last year. Honestly, it's my favorite. It's just the contrast in colors and how it's both an artist monitor and a gaming monitor. So it's, it's really the greatest thing for its price point. The BenQ on the other hand, which is a 4K monitor, just a secondary monitor, just chilling there for whenever I toss videos up as I usually do. You know how it is. Now moving on to the peripherals. We do have the Keychron K8 in the LG gaming mouse. Pro resting on top of, yep, still, Hu Tao's ghost sipping on boba tea. Still love that thing. So great. So in great condition. Moving on, we do have the Wacom. And we have the AT2020 that connects into my audio interface, which is the Behringer. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing that horrendously wrong. UM2. So I finally decided to look it up. And Here's, here's what's super cool, if you didn't watch the previous one. Got it for $30, and now, now, outside of its Black Friday sale, it's 60 bucks originally. Which is crazy! I can't believe it went up so t two times by 100%. That's, that's madness. So, good job, Pastiotti. You did, you did great. So standing on my desk, I got my little Bluetooth dongo. Haven't changed that out yet, but I'm thinking about getting a, an internal Bluetooth for my PC, just to make my life a little bit easier because sometimes it does kind of lose connection. 
Um, next to it is probably one of the things I'm more proud of, which was here last year. And it is a nice little rectangular prism to hold all my SD cards and memory cards. It sits here nicely. It kind of goes with the aesthetic of the sleek, dark, black, everything. And then you just have that crystal clear. So it's not too distracting, but it pops. It's like that accent sort of thing, if you can call it that. Of course, gotta have my pug on a crane. My crane pug, however you want to call it. Love that thing. And here's something that's new. Yeah! You can also adjust the brightness. Now you guys can see it better. Ta-da! Then I can also change the temperature. Yeah, and, it's, and the best part is that the puck is completely wireless. It is the Xiaomi light bar, and honestly, I love it a lot. I, I want to say 60% of the time, I am using the light bar instead of the hills. So, it's, it's a really great, really great item. Speaking of the hills, that's the hills. Nano leaves. My friend got me that uh, two Christmases ago, I think now. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> that sounded like I was forcing myself to say it's really cool, but no, actually it is really cool. I kind of regret having it there because as you can tell, when you look on the back, you see it shining in the back. But then back in my parents' house, I had the hills in the back and it kind of just messed with the exposure of the camera. So it was kind of lose-lose. I guess the perfect, perfect situation is if I could take the hills and toss it to the side. But on this side, I have a closet. And on the other side, I got the window. I know I could probably take my desk and toss it at the window. But then I kind of lose all of this shelving for all the cool little knickknacks that I got here. But then again, I get free lighting from, from the daytime, from the sun. Ah, 2023 gonna be looking pretty interesting, I think. <laughs> Back to what's up on over here. So this light ring is actually super new. Super new because I just installed it yesterday or two days ago. Right here. Super bright. Also can adjust the brightness. Alexa, turn off the hills. Ugh, and there I am. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, kind of ghostly. Ah, that's nice and warm. Alexa, turn on the hills. All right, well, that was really neat. I have yet to use it, but I can only imagine good things will happen pretty soon. I got my speakers on the side, got that thing back in 2018. I think in the last tour, I said that I got it from Walmart, but I was actually confusing that with the speakers I got before these. I actually got those on Amazon, so not as cool, but still very useful and I like them. So moving away from the desk and oh, actually, I forgot to talk about this side of the desk. Still an empty space for the most part. Um, for the longest time, it actually had a shelf and that was from the lo-fi video I made several months ago. Um, turn out to be an okay video. I think some of you guys actually enjoyed it, which I thought was really, really cool. But as it turns out, it takes up a lot of time to find that copyright-free lo-fi music. And a lot of the stuff that I was working on at, between then and now was like music com compositions and spoiler stuff. So I couldn't make another one. But I do plan to make something like this again in the future. For now, it's just all stored in my closet. You can actually take a look. <laughs> Gotta hide it behind the wall, of course. <laughs> the wall, the door. But for now, it's just my 3DS, my favorite portable handheld system. I just love that thing. And then, of course, Game Boy Advance is probably right next to it. I think the only reason the 3DS wins is because I, there's more games that I enjoy on it compared to the Game Boy Advance, although the Game Boy Advance does share more childhood treasures than the 3DS, but yeah, it is what it is. Also on the desk, a bunch of knickknacks for camera stuff. 
Today I was actually filming a day in the life, and if you're interested in watching that, boom! <laughs> it's up there! <laughs> I was actually um, debugging my game and working on the journal system, so that, that's a fun watch, I think. Maybe, hopefully. I almost hit a deer. So if anything, that's a story worth watching for. <laughs> right here is my collection of tripods. It may not look like it, but there's actually two tripods. And as a matter of fact, it's not just these two tripods, but there's even a third tripod. And behind that is a monopod. Lots of tripods, but I think if you are a YouTuber, then you completely understand. <laughs> I don't know why I need to talk about my tripods, but this one's a unique one, as you can tell from the arm down there. Um, it's an overhead tripod, or that was the purpose of it when I bought it. And the whole idea, moving on over to my Katatsu over here, is that I'm thinking about creating a board game series. A one person or one player board game. I know that sounds really weird and makes no sense for my channel since I'm mostly about game design. But at the same time, I think you guys know that in my past, I used to do a bunch of Let's Plays and board games is actually one of my passions so i think as long as i can create a good narrative and show you the rules without shoving it down your throat then i think it can make for a good experience we'll see though scheduled to film in december so we'll see all right so last thing i want to talk about my desk is if we go down here ah, look how clean that is that is right no messy wires on the ground. If we get a little bit closer, then you may see a little bit of a mess, but it's actually not too bad in my opinion. So we do have that bundle over there. That's kind of how it's got to be, you know. I can hide it and force it higher onto underneath my desk, but yeah, it's not too big of a problem for me. There was also a bit of a wire on that side, and that's actually connected to the light ring. Um, again, I installed it like two days ago, so that's why it's there. And of course the foot hammock, it's gotta be there. It's gotta be there. You know, you're working away on your gaming chair, and then out of nowhere you, hit, you get hit by that fatigue, and you just need to take a quick nap. So you crank it all the way back, foot up, and totally knock out for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, I'm not the only person that happens to, right? It also happens to you. Uh, right? I'm not the only one. <laughs> uh, speaking of the chair, uh, 2022 version of the Secret Lab. I might be lying and it could be 2021. Whatever shows up on screen is the truth. Ergonomic chair, for the same price point, will always be better than a gaming chair. Okay? Just want you guys to know that. The only reason I got a gaming chair is because, as you guys saw, sometimes I like to pass out on this thing. <laughs> and ergonomic chairs, you cannot set the seat back like a like a car. So that's the primary reason why. I specifically went with this one because I really like the aesthetic, even though I stopped playing League many years ago. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys were probably interested with this keyboard over here and it is the Nectar Impact LX25 Plus. Now that a year has passed, I can say that I have been using it and I gotta be honest with you, as a person who's not a music person, I never touch these knobs. <laughs> I also never touch these buttons. I also don't really use these pads or touch those buttons. All I use is the keyboard, these two, I guess the octave and transpose, and of course the play, record, and stop. And I guess this for volume. And if you guys are curious to see what it looks like when it's on, its default is green and I respect that. And when I press it, it becomes red. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Honestly, way more than what I needed, but it was a gift. So, and it does what I needed to do, so I can't hate on it. Now the cool thing here is actually what I created. As you can tell, it's on a desk. So if I unplug this, just let the wire drop, I can actually roll it right underneath. Yeah, 
Yeah! Out of sight, out of mind. And now if I'm playing VR, I have all this space to hunt ghost stewards. And that's just great. That little desk, I actually had to modify myself. Bought it on Amazon, I think it was like 30 bucks, real price on screen. But I actually did have to, as you can tell, if you look very closely, I did have to slice it down by a couple of inches. And I also filed it as well, so now I can run my fingers. Well, yeah, without <laughs> getting any splinters and dying from metal poisoning or whatever. Not that I would ever run my fingers like that outside of demonstration purposes. Not that I need to demonstrate that. Anyway, that's the future. <laughs> You'll probably also notice that I have this thing here and that is something I actually uh, attached to it in this little binder. Teaches me how to, oh it's upside down. In this little binder teaches me all of my scales, my major scales and minor scales because remember total noob here at making music i actually need this thing whenever i need to compose outside of the scene minor and major so there's that there's also this little black book notebook completely empty um the idea here was that i'll probably start writing in here documenting some stuff but at the same time i find that i just use one note all the time so Eh, I don't even know if I'm gonna use it. Who knows? So I'm gonna just roll it back in for that flex. Yeah, do, do you have something like this in your setup? I bet not. <laughs> so as far as it goes, I think that's everything on the desk. The computer desk itself is from Ikea. And I've already told you the story that I got it on clearance and I saved like a hundred bucks. So yeah, cool story, eh? All right, moving on to the figurines. Everything's the same here. Nothing's new. Well, I guess a couple of things new, like this Broly, that little Goku, that little Frieza, maybe the Piccolos. Yeah, so like a few knickknacks here and there that's new. But for the most part, the majority of the figurines that you see that's on this display case, as well as what's down there, has been one from arcades or gifted. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Oh man, she fell over. Boma's having a hard time. <laughs> and Videl, she's just shy. Not too much to say from here. I think this Godzilla's new. It was Yankee Swap in January, I think. So, it's gotta be new. Really cool. I really like him. It. It's both adorable and scary at the same time. Same wall art, Shin Godzilla and Kotatsu. For the most part, the Kotatsu lives here in the spring, summer, and most of the fall. But now that it's, it's starting to get cold, it now lives in the living room. I just have it out here just to fill the room a bit. And since it lives here for the majority of the time. And in case you guys are curious what this has said in the back of my videos, because it's always blurry, it's the fact that you, you are awesome. Unless you're a creep or a jerk, then you're not awesome. Moving on into the closet. Um, we won't bother too much on that side. <laughs> Aesthetic as stuff just, just being stored, but at least it's stored kind of neat. I'll just say kind of neat and leave it there. Here, you know what, just for the video, let's have this Goku glow. Yeah, so cool! All right, so uh, this has been for all the card games I play. You know, I don't play my hero. It was, it was a moment of weakness after going to PAX, and then there just wasn't any My Hero Locos, Locos being local tournaments for those who do not play any card games whatsoever. Uh, same VR as last year, Cosmo. Yeah, it's, it's a this one is all my camera equipment stuff this one is soldering and pretty much anything that I used for my Game Boy this thing's just chilling here waiting for the next Spartan race if you have not watched that 
and uh, this is just my green screen screen that I never use. My Wooger that I only use with my VR. Totally a waste. <laughs> if I was more of a VR person, I would appreciate it even more. So it's my own fault there. Down here, this is kind of new, as you can tell. I spray painted it myself, green and black, kind of matches my aesthetic. And it's just to hold my card game stuff. You'll note down there that there's just a deck, Digimon deck, just living. Well, deck boxes, because I ran out. But, uh, they'll have a home at some point. Now here is the thing that I really wanted to show you, because I love it a lot, actually. And it's my charging station. Now this wire side, because it's kind of just ugly and it dangles. And I guess this one also dangles, but... I kind of leave that there because my keyboard needs to recharge. So often, what I'll just do is grab my keyboard. Boom. Yep, it just goes right there. Plug it in on that side, or that side, whichever side it actually is. And then it just charges. And then next day, because I'll probably charge it overnight or whenever. I'm ready, baby! So, to check it out, we got the newer. Newer, 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 and that one is for my light box. Oh, close your eyes, guys. It's gonna blind you. Ah, the sun! And I just ruined the lives of anyone watching this video in the dark. My B. Um, we got my camera charger, and I think the thing that I love most about this is the fact that it's my level. So, whenever I need to charge something, I'll just bloop, plug it into this camera that you that's recording this, and then take the other one and bloop. And then, look, you can even see the status right here. Isn't that just adorable? This one is for my GoPro. You'll notice that there's a wire right here and a wire right here, and they're just kind of sticking out. Well, this one is for the camera, in case I want to take that camera and use it to face cam. And this one is for whenever I decide to record with my phone and I need to toss it into my computer. So that's that one. And then everything in here is just GoPro accessories. Yeah. Oh, can't forget about this. This is my charger bag. Kind of a neat thing to have, I think, in my opinion. You know, this way you don't have wires in a box or wires in like a little cabinet thing where everything just gets tangled and you get all confused and lost. And you got a wire bag and you always know where it is, so that's fun. And oh, in the case that you are done charging because you don't want it to like, you don't want to deteriorate your battery over time, I of course made sure that I got a switch for my little charger breaker thing whatever they're called circuit breaker charger yeah little switch there and it just shuts off the whole system also especially in this time where everything costs so much money for electricity and gas my god life is such a disaster all right so i think that's about it this is my room, this is my office, and this is my Game Caster's Trap. If you're interested to learn more about it, the... it's up there. <laughs> the vlogs, that's what I wanted to say, the vlogs are up there. Oh yeah, don't forget, the day in the life vlog that I'm making right now is right there. It came out before this one, so check it out! I gave this video a little shout out. Oh, I know you guys seen this from last year, but I thought I might as well point it out again. Anniversary gift. And my 9.5. Yeah, go look up. Go look them up. See how much she's worth. Pulled that thing. I pulled that thing. From New Bear's comic. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next one. Till then. Better! <laughs>